G'day legends and welcome back to the episode of That Slot Car Guy News for a Friday. Again, sorry, I was flat out this week with recording. So we're doing news on a Friday. We have got plenty to get through cars. I have a prototype coming to test for you 124 fans. of the full information on the Axle Box, where to get it from and how much it costs. If you haven't seen the Axle Box review, go check it out. If you're a Carrera digital track holder, this is a must and plenty more. But before we get stuck into the news, a word from the official news sponsor. Today's news is proudly brought to you by Slot Mods, established in 2008, makers of the finest slot car raceways in the world. Let's race. So welcome back to the episode, Legends, and this one is a big one. We've got a fair bit to get through today, some really interesting stuff as per the intro. But before we get stuck into the car news, a massive thank you to Slot Mods for being the official news sponsor. Check out their socials in the link below, and of course, the channel description. But let's kick off with Scalatric and some car news. I do have some further news about them in what's happening in the world of slot cars. Very exciting news. But we'll kick off with what they are showing, and it's the Subaru Impreza Colin McRae 1995 Championship car. Now, if you have been following the latest trend of their championship cars, this will come on a different base. I believe it's the green with the gold riding base, which is for all championship winning cars, whether it's F1, rally car. Really, really cool. I got to see this at the UK Fest. Looks incredible. It is four wheel drive. I'm a huge rally fan and Subaru fan and Colin McRae fan. So this one's a must. What's your thoughts? Are you going to get it? Let me know in the comments. There you go. One from Scalatric. Next up, we have Carrera. Now, I found this on Pendle Sites, Facebook, and website. These are the latest cars that have been released by Carrera, of course, the 2023 catalog cars. I won't name them all. I will put all the pictures up of what's been posted. Some pretty nice cars in there. I did go visit Carrera World not long ago. Uh, that video is still in the making. And I do have something potentially special coming up with them in the new future, which I'll make that announcement if it does happen. So there you go, some cars available from Pendle Slot. These are the latest release Carrera cars. They look good, I have seen them. Are you gonna get them? Let me know, check out Pendles. So next up, some cars that are available now from Scale Auto. We'll kick off with my favorite. It is the Formula 89. Huge Formula 1 fan, Silverstones this weekend. You can't go wrong with a historic Formula 1 car. They don't make them as small as they used to in the real world. This thing looks incredible. Then we have the Acura NSX Cup. Now, these are the Cup version. We do have the R version coming out in a couple of weeks time, which of course is gonna be the race ready version or the race spec version, but the Cup version is now available. And the Porsche 963, that is also available. How long will that last? I'm not too sure. Looks good, I do want one. Let me know if you are gonna get one. But there is three cars from Scale Auto. So next up, we have three cars, well, three of the same cars, different livery. The BMW 635 from Advanced Lot is now available. These are looking very tasty. I haven't got many Advanced Lot in my collection. If I was gonna get one, this would be it. I'm a Beamer fan. Looking good, are available, three liveries, so check them out. And if you haven't got an Advanced Lot to your collection, add one and then let me know what you think of them. So some hot news off the press. Massive thank you to Slot Pixel who sent me some photos of Advanced Lot's Nissan 240 RS. Here are three designs, one livery, two colors. This is looking very, very cool. Please check out his news on Fridays. It is Slot Pixel. We do share information, so please support him because he does support us. It is in Spanish, so put the captions on. Again, the 240 RS from Advanced Slot is looking very, very cool. So next up, we've got a prototype from Team Slot. These photos came directly from Pixel Slot. Absolute legend. Thank you, mate. I appreciate it. Support his channel. It is in Spanish. He does reviews and news. We do work together, providing information where we can. This is the Citroen 2X 16V kit car. Looks pretty good. It is prototype. Again, massive thank you to Slot Pixel. Please show him some support. And whenever he does throw some photos at me, I will share them with you. But please share some support with him. So next up we have Hobby Classics with a bit of a special one here. It is the Advanced Slot Mitsubishi Evo 10 shell with some different chassis components underneath the way the engine's laid out for what they believe is a better performing car or a different performing car. I'll read it out to you. Again, it is the Advanced Slot Mitsubishi Evo X10 body. They've got the engine on the smallest angle they can for what they believe they'll get better rear grip. They are going to be doing this to more cars. They are saying the Ferrari from Advanced Slot will get the same sort of treatment. The Opel Mantra and the BMW M1 from fly slot will also get their little special touch if you do get one of these let me know how they perform i do like this it's sort of using a, an already car that's there and putting their own sort of twist to it but if you do get one let me know how this performs from hobby classics 
And Hobby Classics with a collaboration car with Flyslot, the Renault Turbo 5. Keep your eyes tuned on this one. I keep saying keep an eye on Hobby Classics because they've got their finger in every single pie. So we have another, I guess it's gonna be a limited edition car from Flyslot and Hobby Classics in the future, Renault Turbo 5. Next up, we have some newly released cars from NSR. I found these on Pendle's socials. Now, it must be an F1 week, of course. We've got Silverstone, so we've got some more F1 goodies for you. First up is the NSR 25th anniversary. This thing looks absolutely stunning. Limited, limited run. So find out from Pendle how many they do have in stock. Next, we have the triple threat. We've got the NSR Formula 2022 in the Alonso Stroll and Vettel outfit looks incredible of course i've been driving one around the plastic track video to come really cool car last but not least the pink pig uh, you can't go wrong i am seeing photos of that at the moment on social media looks really good so there you go three cars newly released from nsr available from pendle so next up, a little bit of HO news. We'll kick off with Bauer. I keep saying it, they are the best in the biz when it comes to the premium side, and this Mercedes is no exception. I still can't believe they get all this detail on such a small car, and after my review of the NSU TT, the way it performed and how it looked, I'm sold, they look incredible. So there you go, if you haven't got a Bauer yet, maybe the Merc is right up your alley. Check out their socials, uh, they always update new cars, new stuff, and of course I can't keep up with all the news, but please check out Before Slot and Bauer. So continuing with the HO theme, let's check out AFX. Now, the social media team are doing a wicked job when it comes to taking photos. Take a look at the 2021 Camaro ZL1-1LE sitting on the Mega G Plus chassis. It looks really good. Now, I haven't had the pleasure of testing any of their latest cars. Let me know if you have tried them. Uh, I'm a huge fan of AFX. I think we all are. We grew up with the brand. So there you go. The Camaro is looking pretty tasty from AFX. So let's kick off slot car goodies with Hobby Classics and now showing off their HSR chassis to suit some of your older models if you do have them. I'll give you the list. It is the Ford Focus from SEX, the Lancia 037 from Ninko, the Lancia Stratos from Ninko, and the Renault Megane from Ninko. Really cool idea, a good concept. This is an upgraded chassis, I guess, to make it perform a little bit better through their eyes. So we have the HSR chassis suitable for four cars. I'm guessing the list is going to get longer as they do more R&D, but at this moment, Moment, there is four cars for you to play with. So next up for slot car goodies, we have the Axle Box by Alex, and I have been smashed with messages on where to purchase one of these from, how to get one since my video went live last night. So I do appreciate the feedback. Um, that's exactly why we did the video, because I'm a believer in this product, and after doing the review, I'm still a believer in the product. Some housekeeping first, I'm not sponsored or paid by Alex from Axle Box. He did send me the review kit, and my review was solely on the Axle Box itself, and the review that I did on it, what issues I had, what issues I didn't have. If I'm being honest, it was an absolute dream to install, very simple. And if you're thinking, what the hell is Trav talking about? Well, jump over to my last night's video. I installed a Axle Box, which is a Carrera digital analog switcher box, and it is amazing, it's a game changer. It's not a new idea, but this one did stand out to me, the compact size and how easy I thought it was going to be to install, which I proved it was, hence why I reached out to Axle Box and said, can I try one on the channel? Now the house cleaning's out the way, let's talk about where you can get one from and how to support Axle Box and Alex himself. Now behind me, you'll see the Facebook group. It is Axle underscore Box homepage. Jump over there, join the community, help grow it. Of course, you can ask any questions there directly to Alex. To purchase one, there is a certain amount of options. Now, let's talk about the one that I had last night. It was pretty much ready to solder. So he does all the internal brain work and the leads that are connected with the instructions included, very simple to follow. It even tells you what tools you need. You then install it onto your career digital power set or your CU set. That is around about 230 US plus postage. Of course, postage will change depending on where you live. Alex, if I'm getting that wrong, please update the price, but around about 230 US plus postage. That is a bargain. I'm telling you, this thing was really, really cool. When it comes to longevity and reliability, I don't know, I've had it for one day, but talking to Alex personally, I think if you have any issues, he'll try and help his best. And he's a very smart guy, so please don't burn him out. And in, in regards to burning him out, he's a one-man band. So if you are wanting one of these, of course, just be patient because he's the only one making them uh, under the banner of Axle Box 
by Alex. There is other options. You can send in your own CU base, your digital Carrera base to him. He will do all the hard work and send it back to you. Logistically, that is a nightmare. That's gonna cost you a lot more, but that can be done. Also, you can buy the digital CU with the axle box attached from Alex when there is stock available. Again, that is gonna cost you a lot more. The cheapest option, to my knowledge, is what I showed on the video last night. So please support him. I have been chatting to him offline. Very smart man, great for the hobby. The axle box, um, I'm using it for the channel. There is, or I, I won't say yet, there will be some R&D in the background for some upgrades in the future. So again, don't burn him out because he will make this bigger and better. So if you want the axle box, there's the details. Let me know how you get one. If you have any issues, reach out to Alex. And you said you can also private message him as well. So what's happening in the world of slot cars? Well, the legends from Hammerhead, and you're probably thinking, who is Hammerhead? It is a new brand, have a prototype that they are sending to me to be the first to test on the channel, and of course, to give them feedback, and for you to provide them feedback. So what are we looking at here? It is a 124 scale slot car. It has a steering front end, which is very interesting. It is made out of a nylon, a nylon printer that is a million dollar printer, so the, the material that RC car parts are made out of, so nylon, very, very cool. The kit I'm getting will have an FK180 long can motor, and it has springs or magnets for adjustable suspension, and that's only touching on some of the details of this little kit. Now, I will receive one very, very soon. I'll get on the channel, we will build it, we will test it, and of course, we will provide feedback if needed. Not only are they doing a 124 scale car, they did send me another picture of some controller handles, so I believe they'll be doing some funky stuff in the world of slot cars. Let me know in the comments, does this interest you? Um, can you not wait to see this? I will update you when the kit does come. But massive thank you to Hammerhead uh, for sending me the email and requesting that we be the first on That Slot Car Guys channel to test out this product. You guys are absolute legends. So just a quick Scala Trick free giveaway update. If you have been following the news, I have been given some tickets to give away to some lucky UK peoples to attend the Hornby Scala Trick Museum. That has now been put on hold for some more exciting news. Scala Trick Hornby downstairs, the museum will be closing mid-July and reopening, I think, October, September. Don't hold me to the reopening because they're doing a full refurb of the museum. So we're gonna put the tickets on hold, wait until they complete that, then we'll do the free giveaway because whoever does win it will be having a brand new experience. The museum that I put up on YouTube will no longer be there. It'll be a brand new exhibit. So stay tuned for further details. And there may also be a special something happening with Scalatric in the future. I won't say much more on that because we are still talking behind the scenes, but most definitely the giveaway will happen when the new museum opens. So for today's shout out is a very special one. If you haven't checked out DNA Slot Cars on YouTube and Instagram, please do. It's a father-daughter duo, Davo and Sasha. It's incredible. Check out these photos of Sasha. She is a true passionate slot car legend. And yes, this is the future. This is why I started the channel to see young legends like this getting into the hobby. So Sasha, this shout out's for you. Your dad says you are a fan of the channel. Well, guess what? I'm a fan of your channel. So please guys and girls, jump over there, support Sasha and her dad, Davo. You will see a lot more of them. I think they're gonna be a big hit. She looks like she's gonna be a cool character. And I've been speaking to Davo and he's an absolute legend. So show some love, show some support. And again, this is the future and good luck, Sasha. So that's wrap on today's edition of That Slot Car Guy News for a Friday. Apologies, it wasn't out again on Thursday. Uh, we had to push it to Friday. Huge thank you as always to Slot Mods, the official new sponsor. Please check out their socials, link below and the channel description. We have got plenty going on in the slot car world. I'll keep you up to date when I get this prototype 124 scale slot car. Please reach out to Axel Slot. Alex is the man. Check out his Facebook page. It is an awesome product. You will see it on the channel. If you do get one, let me know how you go and tell them Trav sent you. But as always, at that slot car guy on Instagram, YouTube, and Facebook, if this is the kind of content you like, please consider subscribing. It really does help out the channel. We have got some exciting stuff coming up. I've been talking behind the scenes of Scalatric and Carrera for some future projects, but stay tuned for further details on that. But be safe, take care, support your local. Ciao. Today's news is proudly brought to you by Slot Mods, established in 2008, makers of the finest slot car raceways in the world. Let's race.